We were out here. Headphones high as hell. It sounds it sounds loud. Am I in the red? Yeah. Give me an official JD. Turn me up. Uh -huh. Turn me down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love hugs. I'm gonna give me a hug. Come on over here, boo boo. Come give me some of that. Say you love hugs. Yeah, say, hold on. Let me let these niggas see this shit. Come give me some of this stuff. Look, I got Halle Berry auntie over here, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, Halle Berry. Yeah, baby. We going for some drinks. Y'all ready? Yeah. Hey. Listen, welcome to Jump Shots and Conies. We in this bit. 30 minutes late. Yeah, yeah. But y'all stuck around. That's what's up. Yeah, we got good people. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Uh, you know, you, you download the app. You can hear music for the whole 30 minutes. So it wasn't dark space. But we're going to try better to uh, get started uh, on time next time. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers. We still got people coming in late. We should. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. Hey. Thank y'all for coming out, man, listening to what's going on. We got some special guests up in here. You know what I'm saying? They ready to talk. You hear them mummering in the background. You know what I'm saying? DK, hey, listen, before we get to before we get to our special guests, I got I to gotta shout out to uh, my co-host. You know what I'm saying? Co-host. Tell them who you is. What's your name? Marv motherfucking Ross with some Mac McDonald sauce, bitch. <laughs> 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 he got Mick McDonald sauce, <laughs> bitch. Uh, <laughs> you hear me? And listen, and we got uh. Let me take this hot shit off, man. Uh, we are um uh, sponsored by uh, Plug Clothing. Um, what 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 that shit stand for? You know the reason? No, nah, nigga, uh, no. the shit we wearing. Oh, oh, plug. Thank you. Oh yeah. People Shout like us grind. Yeah, people like us grind. That's what we. That's what we popping. That's what we popping off today and, and shit. Got the whole outfit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, that store is over there. Make sure y'all hit they store over there on Grand River and uh, it's over there. I think it's across from the uh, Donut Sub spot. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Look now for our special guests. Yeah. They get so weak in the knees when they roll all up on jump shots and conies. Cause they are sisters with up in here. They up in here. They sisters yeah. with opinion. Let me get y'all out of grab. Tell them who y'all are and shit. Let them know. We are sisters with opinions. Yes. I'm yes. 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 And they like the boom. You the hear me? Boom, hey, if y'all don't, if y'all, if y'all don't remember them, they had the uh the hit back in the day. We like the cars, the, the cars that go boom. boom. We T and Buddy, and, and we, we like, like the boom. boom. That's these two, y'all. Y'all ain't right know they here. went to Redford. Right, went to Redford. You did not have to do that. that. <laughs> they went to Redford. Right. Well, Shout that. out to Myers. <laughs> Uh, them chicks was husky up in that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, we, they still, we still husky. Nah, yeah. Y'all no, oh, fine. They was, no husky. Husky. <laughs> <laughs> they was husky. They was husky as Husky. Man, so look, before we get off into it, because now sisters and voices, sisters with voices.
voice. I mean, sisters with opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. My bad. They got me. My bad. You can't mess up with that's the ladies. Yeah, that's the difference. Sisters yeah. with opinions. Right. You know what I mean? They got a, a podcast, man, where they talking about all types of shit. And um, listen, it's not going to be the last time y'all see them, man, because uh, they're going to be reoccurring special guests. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When yeah. when the ladies let me, let me move over a little closer yeah. so they don't know. Yeah, 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 step, yeah, yeah, step, yeah, yeah. Step on a little closer. Fuck <laughs> around and get off on me. Watch out. Stop for the little kiss. <laughs> This, <laughs> he thought that was cute. Did he? Big red gum. I don't know the song, but I remember it's time for a little kiss. So, hey, look, but before we get off into our topic, what we're going to kick it with, with the sisters with opinions, man, we're going to talk about what was going on in this regular world. Um, so the name of the show is Jump Shots and Conies. Y'all know that. But we can't talk about the Conies without talking about the Jump Shots. First, we're going to talk about the Conies, dog. So what we do is, man, we... Um, we also go to Coney Islands, we eat at Coney Islands, and we grade Coney Islands. You hear me? We let you know uh, what's the top Coney Islands or whatever, and, and, and we judge them as, as so, you know what I mean? So, Because yeah. it's a lot of moving around in the city. Uh, back when I was younger, the uh, east side stayed on the east side, the west side stayed on the west side, and then once you got on the west side, neighborhoods stayed with neighborhoods. But now it's a lot of mixing, and people need to know about these Coney Islands. You just saw some three people get their ass shot off at one of them, and then, uh, but that's all the time people get their ass shot off at Coney Islands. So you need to know which Coney Islands not to get your ass shot off on, including with who made good food. You wild as fuck. Nigga, that's real than a bitch. You wild as fuck. So, but where did we go today? Where did we go today? I went to uh, TJ's. TJ's Coney Island. Yeah. What did you order from TJ's Coney Island? Now, TJ's Coney Island is located on 8 Mile. 8 Mile. Uh, it used to be next door to City Heat. Mm. Where all of the... Uh, this old listen, motherfucking was, Coleman Young geographical listen. ass motherfucker. Listen, I went to Henry Ford High School and City Heat was uh, where all the graduating class strippers yeah. went for their first time. So it was like an um, undergrad for stripping. Yeah, right. <laughs> City Heat was Never an undergrad got. for stripping. You went there straight out of high school, seen if you liked it or not, wasn't nobody there. You got your strip on, then they had a little uh, trick class in the back, see if you, you know, got the trick on, see if you like that a little bit. And then if you don't like it, it's cool, because all them people that go to uh, City Heat didn't go nowhere else. No, they didn't. They didn't so you was cool. You could test out the, uh, the freak world and decide yeah. if you wanted to be there or not. So we, so we did TJ's. Okay. Yeah, TJ's, man. Uh, on 8 Mile, West Side, you know uh, in saying? between Evergreen and Lashley. Yeah. Right. You know, okay. I tried to stay away from the meat, but, you know, I ate, I, I grabbed two conies, so I get a nigga uh, how, three. How, uh -huh. how did the conies taste? Uh, well, I in went TJ's? twice. I went two different times. If you get there in the morning, okay. it was a little bit fresh. Time lapse? Yeah, a little time lapse. So in the morning, I get them niggas. Two pieces of squeeze cheese. Uh, hit me with a bean. Uh, two things. Okay. Two, uh, one more. One more. Two squeeze cheese. Please. One more. Two squeeze cheese out of what? How many yeah. squeeze cheese? <laughs> like, 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 like top cheese. Top squeeze cheese is what? If they, if, if they killing it, how many squeeze cheeses they get? We gonna hit them with the bell beer. No, yeah, nigga. Either. Wait a minute. It's two. Uh, what is it? Two out of five? I don't know, bro. Yeah, listen. It's two squeeze cheese out of two five. Two squeeze cheese out, out of five. five. So you, you say you get these niggas two out of five? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, two out of five. You get these niggas two out of five. Because they, they be on that bullshit. That's for at home. No, it's not. What well, Coney Island got shredded cheese? All of them. They just gonna kill you though. We yeah. know that, girl. We know nigga, you can go there. Nigga, they going to back and work your girl. Work. Send you back in '88. That's the bullshit. Man. Okay, so so two out of five. Okay, so but the thing is, cheese. what I didn't like about it, they got that old. Dickerson drive through. Okay. That, you know what I'm saying? So, the windows so were, a little, yeah, yeah, it was it's a little, little suspect, bro. Little, right. Yeah, so. So, so you vulnerable in the driveway at TJ. Yeah, you might get robbed. You might get robbed. There's nowhere to go. What about walking on the inside? Do you the think inside? You feel safe? Oh, uh, that bitch. You look, feel unsafe? It looked like an after hour. It'd be like Hojo. Okay, so <laughs> basically, if you want to go to TJ's. To get it's one like of these, Timbo so if you want to go to TJ's to get one of these uh, two squeeze cheeses out of five uh, chili dogs, uh, best time to go is at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay. Now, if you got a uh, Coney Island near your community that you would like us to come to and eat and judge and let the people know what's good about it, hey man, mm -hmm. uh, hit us up on uh, Jump Shots and Coney's on the uh, Instagram and let us know. DM us, man. Uh, suggest the Coney Island. We'll come to that bullshit and see what's happening. You, ain't you know what I'm saying? We coming. We yeah, coming. Hey, we man. coming to that we shit. We coming. And look, if we you coming, love us, get your shit together, Coney. Done. Get your shit together, Coney Island. We coming for y'all. Funky asses. Nah, get we gonna get, get, get off. We gonna get off until. And I'm sick of you niggas got bathrooms and you getting there ain't got no goddamn toilet paper. At the Coney Island. 
Our special guest brought in some trees for us. Don't get it flowing. They had it flowing. Look, get your little Beyonce ass on. They got it flowing. Your beehive ass. She ain't coming out flowing in. I had to do something. Yeah, yeah, so look. Okay, so look, we're going to get on to the, uh, the current event joint, right? How you feeling? Okay, what, what's your favorite Coney Island? My favorite Coney Island. I'm going to shout out Nikki D's. Wh- which Nikki D's? Okay, which one? Nikki Mala and Lasser. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, shout out to that one. Lasser. Lasser. Because a lot of people think it's Lasher, but it's Oh, uh, look, but while you're playing, some signs, it do have the S-H, and some have the H-S. Lasser. Lasser. Let me see your lips. Let me see your you lips. You ain't even from over there. Let me see your lips when you say that. Oh, Lost. See it? Did y'all see it? I missed most of Women, did y'all see his lips? <laughs> Pronounce it one more time. It made, it made you want to go to that Coney Island. Lost. Lost. Man. I can't. So, listen. So, I'm from Seven Mile in between Evergreen and Southfield. And Nikki D's is the new Coney Island of that area. But hey. when I was coming up, it was all about legacy. Right there on the corner. Yeah, right there on the corner. And that Coney Island on Seven Mile and Evergreen Legacy was the first Coney Island to brand corned beef sandwiches. Okay. Hey, and that shit was brave because Lou Zelly was down the street. It was almost black. Lou Zelly was the shit. It was yeah. almost like Seven hey. Mile on Seven Mile Crime. Shouts out to all the retired Seven Mile dogs. Where y'all niggas at? <laughs> we ain't retired. <laughs> we wear Adidas. Y'all all thought niggas is all dogs dogs work at the plant. We, do, we still here, nigga. You like, nigga, I'm a Seven Mile Dog. You talking that bullshit. Hey, look, so look, the current event that I want to talk about, the current event shit that's going on in the news today, listen, I was chilling out, looking at TV, well, not looking at TV, social media, that's the new TV, that's what I mean when I say TV. I was looking at it, and you know who popped up on there talking heavy shit? Jaguar Wright. Y'all remember Jaguar Wright with the roots? She used to be with the roots. Oh, yeah. She was talking heavy shit. shit, So now, so, so, she she accused uh, Common Mm -hmm. of trying to stick his in her mouth while she was asleep on tour. Damn. I wow. have to now, how y'all ladies feel? You try to put the glizzy in <laughs> the business. She looks like a shit. I'm just playing. Now, how y'all feel about that? He probably did it for fuck. He didn't dust a lot of time. Now. So. She telling now. She telling now. So you saying she, so you saying she, she didn't got down. He didn't walk her up with the dick right. action before. And she making What's her name? Toy. She's trying to make herself relevant. She's trying to make herself relevant. She's trying to be here with the Bill Cosby. Oh, no, she's going to do it right. I forgot. I hooked her shit up. Oh. My bad. I just wanted to just wanted to rap. Just wanted to rap. Okay. I'm going to sweat. Y'all don't He kicked that too, y'all. He kicked that still too. I just taught my people something. How to, <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Jump shot to Coney. This is also... Uh, what? This is. I'm going to also teach you how to say slick shit to beautiful women. This is this is a, a two for two for show. We're going to teach, res- teach you how to respect beautiful women and say slick shit at the same, the same time. time. So it's like semi-pimping. You like it's pimping in the middle. Okay. So Jaguar Wright say not only did Common fuck around and try to uh, sneak his in her mouth while she was asleep, she say uh, right. Black Thought Oh shit! used to help R. Kelly go get middle school and high school a little Damn. bit. Damn! Well, 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 he say well. He used to, he, they say they used to hang out. I mean, you know, whatever, whatever. But they would, but uh, Black Thought would go to the high schools and shit, and will help get chicks for R. Kelly. Oh wow! Okay. She said that. Oh! Where's Chub Rock at? Chub Rock ain't with you. Damn! We got Jazz. She done flown in from Africa, motherfuckers. Oh man! Damn! She here, y'all. Damn, we was running out of shit to talk about. The champ is here. Listen, all right, so right now we'll be talking about, okay, so these are the ladies. These are our special guests today. Uh, Sisters with opinions. They got their own podcast, and they talk about that shit, okay? But before we get to talking about they, uh, you know, what we brought them in here for, you know, they can chime in the whole time. We're going to talk about your uh, Washington, D.C. shit. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the female. Uh, Here we knew. We're here, okay? (laughs) Here we know. Oh, we female. not gonna trivialize the struggle. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ye
You want to say hello to the people? Who wants to hear from my own fellow official yet? I'm talking about to say some other shit. I like to say that. I was telling Took a long time before she said phones. Took a very long time. It was a very long time. I want to What? What? That's because I always gotta get sassy too. You know how it goes. You over there like you was, nah, nah, she was doing she was doing too much she was doing too much freedom like fighting on that trip. Like, you don't like you don't like smacking the back. You got decisions to make over there. Bougie. <laughs> <laughs> bougie. Bougie. I don't want no smacks in the face. Smacks in the face. Gotta respect that. Absolutely. You looking? All right. <laughs> yeah. That's what time it is, Jazzy Jazz. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. All work. right, so look, before we get into your segment, Jazz, mm-hmm. uh, and her segment today is uh what these crackers doing? Okay, that's a new segment. <laughs> oh, Damn. Uh, jump shots and conies. What these, uh, crackers? these crackers what is crazy. Doing? What these crackers doing? These man. crackers is crazy. But before we get into the these crackers is crazy segment of the show, we was talking about Jaguar Wright. Yeah. You do you remember Jaguar Wright? Jaguar was the best. Oh, so you know no. Have you seen her rants? Her YouTube rants? You seen none of them? I heard about it and I refuse to watch it. Oh. Because I'm going to leave her here in my head. Oh, she's still there. Oh, 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 oh the way okay. she going. Oh, okay. Oh, the way she going oh, will make you look at Erica Badu fucked up. She living a little pimp. The way you going to have you looking at Jill Scott fucked up. I the really way you, don't like Jill Scott. The way you going to have you looking at Common fucked up. Dick in the mouth. Black at dog. night. She Black called a nigga dog. Lonnie. Oh, she oh, said yeah. she would have fucked him, oh, but yeah. the nigga is no, too... Uh, she uh, uh, hey, she said the nigga too clingy. She say the whole time he was with Erica Badu, hey. Erica Badu had him wearing all that weird shit, and he wasn't even getting no pussy. Everybody thought she was fucking with M One from uh, she, she was fucking M One from uh, Prince. she was fucking M One, you know M One from Dead Prez, but ended up oh, getting pregnant shit. by the DOC, yeah. all in the same year. But she and, the, mean, and, and the whole time, Common wasn't getting no pussy. I mean, DOC that guy though. So with it, with it, talking like this though. He can still get the pussy talking like this, though. That's what let you know he that guy. He must be. And one got a little he thing. He all them hits, you know, they did. He did write them hits. He got the money. And one got up in there. He got a little thing up in there. And one, you know, he, he for the people. So I he was for the people. We got to do, we got to do. And Common was just for the main But strength. my question is, why is Jaguar doing this? He said that. Because she went to jail. I can't. For what? I don't know for what. Nobody came to visit her. Nobody reached out. Her son died. Oh. Nobody said shit. Malik B. Remember Malik B, don't you? Nah. Okay, Malik. Okay, so let me tell you. Okay, so I'm a Roots fan from the very beginning, right? When the Roots came out, they had three artists, right? I mean, three hip, three rappers that was part of the Roots. Mm-hmm. It was Black Thought, Dice Raw, and Malik B, mm-hmm. right? Dice Raw was the light-skinned guy. He was real aggressive. Mm-hmm. He was like the pimp C of the crew. Literally, he was like the pimp C of the crew. Mm-hmm. He talked about pimping bitches and everything. Mm-hmm. Kind of threw you off a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Malik B., a lot of times when you heard them rapping, you didn't know which was which. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like, damn, who's that? Black Thought? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right? But it was just like Nas and Cormega. You didn't know who was who. But then, ironically enough, the sweetest motherfucker was Malik B. And the sweetest motherfucker was Cormega. Mm-hmm. Cormega. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. all the verses that you love, mm-hmm. that you were like, yo, that's Black Thought. Mm-hmm. That was Malik B. Mm-hmm. So she on that bitch like, yo... Uh, not only was Malik B the sweetest one, and he was in the roots. I, mm-hmm. He definitely the fuck was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't know fucking Black Thought was still in his raps. And it makes sense because back in then, you could, we, uh, listen, back, back then, back then, you didn't know who was who, Malik B or whatever. You go listen to some Malik B. Malik B got a, uh, Malik B is dead now, but Malik B got a recent album out. You listen to that shit, that shit sound like classic roots. You listen to Black Thought now, it's totally different. I'm just saying, he might have been I don't know what shit. to say to that. Like, it's good entertainment, though. It's good entertainment. But we you trying to get shit popping. Come on, do that shit. Yeah, so, you know, but look, forget that. Jazz, mm-hmm. you back. Mm-hmm. How was your trip? Let the oh, people know where you went to. Got to be signing up. Oh, okay. Hey, we need to have that tripod. Yeah, the tripods need to be. I got one for my phone too, like a little. Uh, I forgot what it's called. So jazzy mm-hmm. jazz, how was your trip? The trip Let's talk was about everything falling apart. The trip was incredible. Um, it was transformative. That's the okay. first thing to know. Where'd you go? Oh, Tell the people. Your, your client. 
but all right. Let's all right, go. my bad, my bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, you had a whole intro for the people? No, 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 no. But uh, you know, they we redid the, or it was a commitment march on Washington, um, for the 57th anniversary of the initial march on Washington, where Dr. King obviously gave his "I Have a Dream" speech. So in that way, of course, it's historic. Um, but like I keep telling people, we're living in historical times right now. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to want to look back on your life in 2020, 2021, and these years to come and be able to say you stood for something, you did something, you did something for the future. So um, that was the reason why my nonprofit, and of course my nonprofit right now only consists of myself and my dream. But, you know, we I mean, you ain't gotta let the people know the administrative part. So, just, I mean, you know, it's what it part. is. Well, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it transparent like that, keeping it 100, because um, it's important that people get involved. Like, right. this is not this is not one of those things where you can pass the buck, so to speak. You, 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 you can't wait for me to fight. And I can't wait for y'all to fight. That's right. We all supposed to, supposed right. to be going. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, get this and do this. And I'm not condemning anybody. Like, um, it was a little bit short notice, even on a national level. Uh, Al Sharpton announced this. I didn't this. know about it at all. Yeah, Al Sharpton announced this at George Floyd's funeral George. that he was doing that. Um, so, it, it, you know, that's months, but again, that's still a short amount of time for people to, you know, get their stuff together, be able to go, be able to take off work, so on and so forth, plus we in a whole pandemic. Right. So I completely mm-hmm. understand it. I just want... I want to make sure that it's clear to people, people that listen to my voice, that they understand that now is the time for action. Like we, all the all the talking is done. I know a lot of people feel like protests don't do this and don't do that, but it's about showing up. It's about right. showing yeah. up, and, and it, it's it's also about if you if you've ever played any um, organized sports, mm-hmm. um, especially like at a high school level, middle right. school level, your coach is teaching you how to be a team player. Right. Your coach is Absolutely. teaching you how to go about uh, gaining a a certain type of uh, work ethic. It's not necessarily about the points on the scoreboard. It's not necessarily about did we win or lose. It's about showing up. You know, that's what they're teaching you. And that's what we're supposed to be teaching the next generation coming up right now. We have to show up. If you don't, if, Fago, if you don't necessarily believe what I I believe, but you don't want to see me shot by a cop. Right. You know, like you don't want to see my life taken. So we, we come together for those reasons, but under the umbrella of we don't want to see each other hurt. We don't want to see each other disenfranchised. Mm-hmm. We don't want to see each other continue to be downtrodden. We don't want to see each other continue to be oppressed. It doesn't matter if you believe in Jesus Christ and I and I say Yahweh and Yahshua. That don't matter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So I just, I, I did find D.C. It was a whole vibe. It was a whole mood. Everybody there was... Um, you could tell we were under a collective as, as black people and even as um, human beings because there were all types of people there, all types of people there. Um, it was human beings there. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No matter what race. That's what I think yeah. they, they, they fall short on. Mm-hmm. Is that we all human. Yep. And, 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 and was that dynamic when you walked around? How, like, how did that feel as a black woman to walk up and see all these people rallying for you like on your side when you walked up? Like, was that shit like, like, you know what I mean? Like the Avengers on Endgame and shit? Like, yeah, I can answer you there that. And then you turn around and you see, like, damn, all these people behind me? Yeah. Like, for real? I, I, like, I don't know. You know, I hear a lot of people saying, like, you know, like, oh, people not from here, people not from here. But mm-hmm. the visuals alone, like, even if it's fake, even if mm-hmm. the white kids is on some other shit or whatever, mm-hmm. but the visuals alone. Mm-hmm. Right. To, it's I'm almost, glad you yeah. touched on that yeah, because. It's like, damn, y'all riding with us? It's almost giving you chills. It like, does. It does, though, mm-hmm. because I have a delayed reaction to things. Like, I mm-hmm. try to take stuff in, <clears> and then later on, I'll sure. figure out how I felt yeah. about it. But That's not um, why I do that, too, sometimes. So, we drove to D.C. You know, we right. made the drive, the eight-hour drive. <clears throat> get there, you know, you're kind of in a rush, you're kind of, you know, you're going, because the march, you know, started at noon, uh, Al Sharpton was actually marched, right at 4 o'clock, you know, you you go from, um, the monument to the Dr. King Mm -hmm. thing, like, I don't really care about America all like that, so I can't remember all the names of this stuff, but, um, but the feeling that you get, again, right in the moment is, there's a sense of urgency. And not just because it's a hustle and bustle of a lot of people, but there's a sense of urgency because it's like, oh, wake up. Like, we we really have, this is really happening. This man was really shot in the back seven times in front of his kid. Yeah. So it's a sense yeah. of urgency. I mean, and my man was chilling everybody. when he was shooting him. Like, by, 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 it was almost like he was painting on his back. It, it was, 
Yeah. It was so relaxed shooting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all. It, it's, it's the crazy. shit was so unreal how relaxed he was shooting. It's, it was just like, it's oh, super dude, calm crazy. your ass down. Bop, yeah. bop, 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 bop. So, and it took seven. Did it, it didn't. take seven? It didn't. It didn't even take one. And you shooting in the back. I mean, what what response did you expect from him? He shooting shot in the back. It's gonna take. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have to hit a motherfucker up twelve times before you see the response you want from shooting in the back. Listen. Like, what these people are failing to understand is that this affects black people again as a collective. Mm-hmm. We got PTSD as a collective. Whether you know it or not, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, it, right. it or not, there's a such thing as historical trauma. There's a such thing as PTSD. And now we have to make sure that they understand that there's a such thing as atonement. And that's a real and atonement, huh? Who is atonement? Who do you think? I don't have shit to atone for. Will they this. know? Will do they you? know? Will they know? That's what I'm talking about. The That's atonement. what I said. We, we have to make sure that they know. Again, there's a time for atonement. Mm-hmm. This is what we're living in right now. Like, these are historical times. These are times for what atonement. What's the people that say fuck with atonement? Fuck with atonement. Then I stop. You know, you, you know when, when, you, when you draw a line in the sand... That's people have to, it's, it's when you about. that's when you give people only one choice, which is to make a choice, mm-hmm. and then you know let the chips fall talking. where they may. That's that talking like we draw let the line the in the sand. Yeah, let, and let the choice. chips fall where Everybody they may. Everybody on the other side, make God bless you and right. hope that you're on the right, right. side. Of the sand. Because this is the thing. May God bless you. Minus oppression, minus historical trauma, minus all the things that niggas have gone through and mm-hmm. endured, unfortunately, mm-hmm. minus Think about the geniuses and the, and the people that, that we look up to and, and that we regard as genius. Mm. Chadwick Boseman. Imagine how many Chadwick Boseman's black people would have put out. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, he's special. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying we would have had a thousand Chadwick Boseman. Mm-hmm. We might have had 50, though. Yeah. yeah. And, and so you have, to, you have to get a perspective hey, and, and be what? mad about that. Listen, listen, you know? listen. Like, you got to be mad. Like, y'all robbed us of 50 Chadwick Boseman. Listen, Bozeman. let me, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. You've seen High Score, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, it was an episode of High Score. Oh, was this on there? I, I hope I'm not mixing up the video game documentary. Mm-hmm. Did they do the, uh, uh, where they had old boy with the uh, the contest, the Tetris contest, and then he went up against the Asian dude, and the Asian dude was autistic but was cold in the mm-hmm. mouth. So that was on that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so look. This is why I got mad. Oh, she got her, she got her baby. She got her side dude in there, scam likely. Side dude is in there, scam likely. Y'all. I even forget the gift of the side. I'm trying to whistle. So look. Oh, okay, until the hook up. Yeah, we ain't taking no break. We are taking a break. Okay, we will take a five minute break. But I want to put this. I want after this. After I make this point, we can take a break. A little quick break. Um. So. I'm looking at this shit, right? And I'm all in. We didn't already talk. Remember, I put it on there. I was excited. And I was like, you, you knew I was watching that shit. Mm-hmm. When I was watching it, I hit the shit. You're like, nigga, I know what you're watching. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm on mm-hmm. it. Right. I got mad than a motherfucker. <laughs> I got mad than a motherfucker when that dog, when he showed up to the fucking video game championships. How the fuck you know about the video game championships? And how the fuck you had that much time to get that damn good at the video game championships and you not ret- Black shit. people don't have that much brain space and relaxed ability to be able to get that 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 damn good at fucking Tetris. Yeah. I looked at All right, that. listen, we back, y'all, and we all know we got our special guest, sisters with opinions, man. That's your little podcast. You to the O S W O S. Oh, Swole. 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 They don't want to take over. Everyone, Swole. Yeah, we don't want to take over S W. Uh-uh. They had their. They swap. You hear what she said? They'll take over. Swap. She said she wouldn't swole. want to take over. We have our own brand. Nah, swole is cold. You like that's, swole? That's Cindy gangsta. likes swole, y'all. Y'all hear that? That's nice. <laughs> what you like about swole? I, my shit when I'm swole, swole <laughs> everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm swole, <laughs> the ladies know. I'm so glad. She swole too. She about to get fired. Never give him that button. When I'm Never swole, give him that button. The people know. They know. You gonna repeat? Right. <laughs> I'm gonna get that on the shirt. 
Hey, oh, I'll put it on your head, so. Thank you. Oh, you better. We ain't killing That's the kind of friend I am. Do it when ain't nobody around, because my mama gonna try to fight. I know, no, I'm gonna etch it in the back. Okay. Anybody gonna know me? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna still hold it. You gonna do that for real? Yeah, hell Put swole yeah. on that bitch. I am. Yeah. Damn, that's yeah. cold. Swole. That's and, and handcraft is what shit look like Moses. Hold my shit in paint. Yeah, no, I'm a straight. I'm a straight. You gonna chisel me? Yeah. Oh, hold on. See? Now that's a friend, bro. Right. She right. take your shit all the way to the New Testament. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So if you got headstones out like there, I do like one letter a month. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that you know what? That's dope as fuck. I know. It's, I'm that. And I put a word in for in heaven for you, like, hey, yo, she threw me bro. down. Thirty thirty six characters. I'm glad you know what this was about. One letter a month. I'm I, glad you know this. You was already about. know the hookup. I, that's a that's a. Hey, listen, give me some play. And listen. The only reason why I'm saying this is because this is leading to another, just one more. Why? Wow, you think I'm going to die first? I was going to say that. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, one would think, you're the skinny one, I'm the chubby one, but <laughs> it's square, bro, I'm going to tell you, look, look. You ain't had no square in a minute. You didn't oh, say it. Oh, oh, man, no. All right, you lying like a motherfucker, bro. You smoked a cigarette yesterday. Motherfucker, that was a couple days ago, nigga. I was off the alcohol. All right, but that's one thing you had, you know, in a while. All right, man, I went straight to you. You's a hater. I'll get too much love. I'll get too much love. That's the problem. Yeah, he a Leo. Yeah, he a Leo. Yeah, he a Leo. I'm just trying to make sure you do the good Leo. I know the good Leo. I'm trying to get you to live. I'm trying to get you to live. Look, he's trying to make you to live. If his lungs give out before, mind you. Man, I slowed down like a okay. I stopped. Okay. I was just off the alcohol and I was like, give me one. But you're going to do that, but he ain't here vaping. So you know what chisel. They Whatever, man. After you chisel yeah. that, I'm going to chisel giant turkey on the side of that bitch. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and I'm going to haunt your family. <laughs> I know you're going to die before me, nigga. I'm going to haunt your kids, nigga. Giant turkey. Oh, it's going to be a whole. Yeah, right. I'm going to haunt your kids, nigga. You're going to be dead, nigga. Go on, man. Nigga, I'm going to knock on the door, nigga. nigga. Nah. Uh, no, I, no, I'm going to send the kite down to hell for you, nigga. Oh, yeah. be like, I'm about to haunt your kids, my <laughs> They're 56 years That's old. That's they fault. They got us in here drinking on the blood. I'm about to jump up. Oh, oh, this nigga blabbing this to the mother. I can't. I can't. And he talking about the blood of white Jesus, y'all, not black Jesus. That ain't All right, all right, talk about it. All right, so look. So swole, okay. So you off on a tangent. Okay, my bad. All right. Tell us about y'all. T- tell us about y'all podcast, man. Well, we y'all? trying to help and heal somebody. Absolutely. People that's in relationships, people that's single, people that have sad people. We don't judge everybody. We want to help people to communicate. Communicate through sex. Communicate. Mm. Through I need sex. help. I, you I, do? I, yeah, I need some help. What kind of healing you need? We <laughs> when our kids that, that kind of healing. <laughs> You need sexual healing. We try oh, to it's help people. It's Marvin Gaye. If it's something you like during sex, you need to tell that person. Because uh, when that person leaves, don't text them the next day and say, was it good? Was first of all, you got you your microphone. How soon did you leave? First, first of all, when I, if I'm at a dinner table, you, you just come out and be like, okay, yeah, I like my nipples next. <laughs> oh, like, okay. No, really? yeah, that's weird. So, yeah, that's what I mean. It's weird. a time and place for everything. So, if... Well, if, the nigga puts your head down like he... Like, what? Uh, hell, first—that's not cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, let me let me explain something to you. You have to pay attention to a woman just as much it. as a as a woman has to pay attention to a man. Mm, mm, so the mm. more you have conversation, mm, the mm, more mm. you pay attention. I like how he keeps saying mm, 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 mm. you will learn. Mm. You learn that individual. Yeah, because that's that's first and right foremost. Here and I'm doing like this, then you know that's a sign. It's working. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's working. It's working. It's no. working. You oh, have so to. So do it again. I'm about to flatline. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Flatline means that it feels good. That it's good. Oh, you know. Pay attention. The terminology. Pay attention. And that's don't, what I think a lot of men don't exaggerate. Know. A lot of men yeah, think I've been with this woman and I, they feel like I went down through there. No, you didn't go down through there because I'm different than that woman is. She uh, might like you to do absolutely. that and I might like you to do something else. Halle Berry, Halle Berry. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Say, well, I have a question. <laughs> <Please. laughs> like, yes, say it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if both of your perspectives come from a 
particular age range. I don't know how old you are. I don't know if you want to divulge that information, but I I, I, I feel like I feel like my perspective is is, is slightly different. Perhaps I don't know if we haven't gotten that far into the conversation, but um, I wonder if you all feel like your age and experience plays a part in. What's your perspective? Oh, absolutely. Let them know. Absolutely, yes. God has blessed me. I am Mm. 49 years Mm. old. 49 of them (laughs) thighs. What? Happy birthday. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Happy birthday. How old? I am 49. Come on, black girl. They clap it. Look, they clap it on that. And you are the same age. Same age. I will be be 50 before her. Look. I'll be 50 this year. This is a little knee along right here. I'll be 50 this year. Come on. For real. July 26. For real. Legal. 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 I'm not ashamed. I'm December 6th. I like what I like. Uh-huh. And I don't have a problem with telling you. What do you I like? So I like to so, be so, the, so, so, the, so the point of bringing her so she said she said is there an age difference and things, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stay, yeah, I'm just yeah. if you're, you're if a different age. age plays a part in your perspective. Absolutely. I As, so, I, I, no, I, I, even when I was younger, I would tell you. I would mm-hmm. tap you on your shoulder. I well, I, you know, yeah, that, that, for me, mm-hmm. so if we have different, because mm-hmm. I wasn't as um, outspoken as I am now, mm-hmm. so I had to learn that. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't as, as, as outspoken as I was when I was, now that I am when I was younger. Mm-hmm. I was more reserved. I'm mm-hmm. still reserved, but I am more Blunt with me, right? Like more I'm vocal, older, I'm more vocal, vocal. Mm-hmm. more comfortable. Mm-hmm. So, anywho, but I think, I think that's lot, important. I think a lot, lot of women, women don't tell men. Right. Yeah. They don't. They, so, they, yeah, they let them leave, and then the next day they're like, I, "I'm not calling them back mm-hmm. instead of yeah. telling them." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take it to the bank. Oh, I'm sorry. I yeah. only do one thing at a time. You know, that. No, <laughs> so yeah, so um, in saying that, yes, I think it it is a age difference because I think women become more mature mm-hmm. with themselves and are able to speak and express what they want. Some women, mm-hmm. not all women, mm-hmm. because some women at our age we still um, not comfortable in telling our mate that we're not satisfied. Because we don't want to hurt them, we're so emotionally involved that we would just or they we so want their ego. yeah or their ego so, or we just we just so we don't want that confrontation. Some women just want, don't want that confrontation, mm-hmm. and they want to just they want to just settle and just be <laughs> not satisfied right. in that area. Period. Right, right, right. You know, I'm there for my man. I'm just all the way there, whether I'm satisfied or not, which is sad because you need to it express sad. that point that and then you know i think it sells a a man short as well because i know with with my partner with my mate um i mean we have been in our long-term relationship for six years now um but i don't look at things as i'm saying something and it might bruise your ego I'm, i'm looking at things like if this bruises your ego that's okay because i'm i'm still here to comfort you just because i'm telling you the truth or my truth about something doesn't mean that, you know, I, I'm not trying to emasculate you. I'm not uh, trying to bring about any discord in the relationship, but it's important to talk anything out, but especially, uh, you know, your satisfactions or dissatisfactions. Like, um, but like I said, I just think sometimes women sell men short, like they can handle that conversation, you know, especially if this is the person you're with, you know, maybe not, you might not have this conversation with, you know, Joe Schmo, who we just, having a little fun with this month. That, but that's there's true. a lot of women that just, they just sit there and they just mm-hmm. settle. Mm-hmm. And, they and I sell, think because they don't, satisfied. yeah, mm-hmm. and I think because they don't have that communication with their partner. Right. So if you don't have that communication with your partner, you don't know how they're going to respond to that. Right. Because that doesn't mean that I've been with this person for 10, 20 years that he's going to, he's going to, um, He's going to respond how I, how I want him to right. because I'm feeling this type of way. Because right. I've never expressed this uh, my opinion or how I feel about this if this is not a normal conversation that has been going on. Right. So that's the difference. Mm-hmm. Is he's going to take it in that ego perspective because, oh, wow. So you say this after 8, 10 years? Right. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so that, that can't, you can't bring that issue up 5 and 6 years later. You got to say it at the moment when you are not satisfied at that point so that 
She like, why not the watch party tonight? Okay. Right. But on the mental or physical, I would say, of course, obviously you would, you know, take the, the mental. But I think of that in terms of just uh, if you're talking about a long-term relationship and growing old with somebody, listen, all these working parts ain't always going to be working parts. Yeah. So you got to right. have a, a really, 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 really serious connection. You got to be done went through some shit with somebody. Yeah. Now, I think know, the only right. ones that last is the ones. Mm-hmm. The ones that right. physical shit, that yeah. shit flare up. Right. Easily. Mm-hmm. So, uh, man, all right. Oh. So I enjoyed that. Yeah. I wish we had yeah. more time. You know what? Yeah. Next yeah. time... You know, this is just a preview. This was a preview. This was a preview. Previews are teasing. They're teasing. It was a teasing. What that's your shit? It was a teasing. I know that's your shit. But I'm teasing. Okay. Hey, and we had the full cast up in here. We had the full cast up in here today. Y'all had a whole treat. We had special guests. Okay, we had Sisters with Opinion up in here. Uh, uh, What's the name again? Swalt. Swo, we had Swo up in here, fella. Swo, Swo, and we had all of the hosts <laughs> with jump shot and cone. Okay, we had Jizzy Jazz. Who now? Jizzy Jazz, not Jizzy. Okay, Jizzy Jazz, not Jizzy. I forgot. You Jizzy. I forgot what Jizzy sound she like. Went to she went to Mark. 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 That's her. Not Jizzy, I'll be forgetting what Jizzy is. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You just call me Jazzy. No, 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 that was me saying pick a pick a. I was on that hip hop shit. I mean, you know what? I was on the Jizzy Jazz. I thought you were tripping because of Jizzy. I was. We got Jasmine up in this. CEO of the Itis. Tell them about the Itis, though. I'm sorry, you say CEO. I love when niggas try to, you know, Throw make, make they little shit. You know. <laughs> it's cool because I am an actual factual chef now. That's what I'm talking just about. Just throw chef in front of my shit. I'm not talking CEO no shit. shit. I know. I'm just saying. Oh. I never tell people I'm the CEO of the. This is the Dietis don't have a CEO. They got a chef. Somebody got to handle the money though. Yeah, you know. That's the CEO. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Niggas don't give a fuck about the chef. Niggas want to know what that money talk about. Nigga, yeah, everybody yeah. making plates, nigga. Exactly. <laughs> everybody making some, mama making some plates. We're making out some, some moves. We um, just recently acquired um, our first building, so. Oh, okay. Good. We got a yeah. restaurant coming. Yeah. Right. We got a restaurant coming. That's what's up. Uh, okay. You know, y'all know how the, the entrepreneur life is. Yeah. No it's, doubt. It's tough. It's mm-hmm. tough. Like, it you got to use your own money. Yeah. Because white America won't give you shit. Okay. I'm not going to start, but I, you know, I may we'll start. I may bump. I may no, bump. no doubt. Okay. Uh, we got to get up out of here because I got to go pick my door. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. shout out to Plug Clothing. They got us laced up, placed up. Okay. Um, Sisters with Opinions. Yes. Your Instagram is. Yeah. Sisters with Opinions. Okay. With so an S. What an S, nigga. Instagram, Facebook. We're trying to help and heal somebody. Absolutely. No doubt. And they will be back on the show, man. This is fun. So we had a little teaser today, man. You know, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, my guy, Marv Ross. We got Jasmine. Okay. Me. Who am I? Fago. I mean, we ran a little late, man. We might push that time up a little bit. I got to pick my daughter up. My motherfucking Shirley. And we out. Peace. <laughs> I enjoyed y'all. <laughs> and we had Jazz up in this bitch. And we got to go, man. Yep. Oh, no, I'm rolling with Jazz. That's right. Okay. Where are we going? Did you say Taylor? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we going somewhere else and then Taylor? Yeah. Y'all the way back, Facebook?